In the last video, I discussed flywheels. In this video, we're going to discuss clutches. This is the OEM clutch for a AE86, 4AC, or 4AGE, 200 millimeter clutch pressure plate. So if I flip this over, take this, put that right here. Fits perfectly. But let's see what happens if I put try to put this on that 7AFE flywheel. Okay, here's my 7AFE flywheel. Hmm. That doesn't seem to fit right. Oh, we'll try the we'll try the pressure plate anyway. Yeah. I got one in. Mm. Look, one kind of lines up here. But up top, yeah. So, what have we learned here? A 200 millimeter clutch and pressure plate is not designed for a 7 AFE. Of course, we know this. Here's a Rayman from Toyota. Yeah, let's do something real quick. Hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. This is a two twelve millimeter. Let's put that right there. Okay, well, that fits. So let's try the pressure plate. There we go. Fits perfectly. So, when ordering your 7A FE flywheel, and I know most, some of you will, I hope, make sure you buy the correct pressure plate and clutch material. And another thing, here's your clutch alignment tool. So of course it's going to fit the one, because this is the one that came out of the kit for this one, which is the 200 millimeter. Let's see if it'll fit this one. And it does. This is the largest clutch that you can fit in a T50 transmission bell housing. This also sits a little higher, but we'll get into that a little bit later during the install. Now on to another thing. How come I did not go for a bigger, you know, like a like multi uh, like a stage one, stage two, stage three, you know, stuff like that. I'm not putting down a crap load of power, and I. For for most applications, this is enough. A factory disc. So some people choose to do a stage one kit. Stage one is fine. It's just a little bit stronger than this. Stage two, I believe that's at least for a majority of them are Kevlar coated. That's that's cool. It just 
promotes longevity. You know, the higher up you go, your clutch is going to be a lot less forgiving, and you're going to have issues starting up and starting up from a stop and stuff like that. I'd like to maintain still some of my OE ability. So this is the completed package that will be going in my A86. Just for a moment, I'm going to put this up here just to show something. This is the throwout bearing that the uh, you got a little hub that sits that fits in here, and then you got your clutch fork that holds it on. So this part right here rides on these, and that fits perfectly because, of course, it's meant for this pressure plate. But what about the new one? The other one. We do it. Perfect. So, what am I saying here? This is designed for a front wheel drive for AGE. This this uh, pressure plate and clutch disc is designed for a 1989 plus, also known as the small port for AGE or red top. And it also goes on to the 7A FE and the 20 valve 4 AGEs. And believe it or not, the 1ZZ FE. The 1ZZ actually uses the same thing. I don't know about the pressure plate. Um, I'm just going to say. If I find more information regarding the pressure a 1ZZ pressure plate working with the 7AFE flywheel, I will put that information in the description. So don't quote me just yet. So the future of my 886 shifting well clutch work a little bit better will be soon. Actually, in two about two weeks. One other item. When you do a clutch job, also change this. This is called a needle bearing. This is a bearing that goes in dead center of your crankshaft. And that's why it's there. The tip of your transmission goes right in there when you put it on. So yeah, I have a lot of work ahead of me. And I still have the big mod that I have that that I want to do. But this will come first. Stay tuned. This is 84 Hachi signing off.